Guess who's back? That's right. It's Coridon. And also Troopa, I guess. Uh, hi, hello. Um, yeah, I thought I was kind of done with this game. But, um... Turns out... Uh, a couple friends of mine got into it recently. And, uh... So, uh, I, I kind of got back into it and I realized, oh wait, the only account that I can play online with, or the only save file I can play online with, is Troopas. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I thought, I thought, like, okay, I'll just make a guest, uh, file on this Switch. And then I will play with that instead online. And that just doesn't work apparently, so. Uh, so what we're doing here is we are trying to complete the Pokedex in this game as well. Um, kind of... We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, unfortunately, I can only stream for a few hours uh, today because I have an audition to go to tonight. Um, but I will probably catch as many mons as I can. Oh, wait, hold on. Slack off is in this area? Hold on. Let's see if I can find me a slack off. Uh, also, I have like Really unfortunate timing, considering my audition tonight. Uh, it would appear that I have a sore on my tongue. So, if it sounds like I have a little bit of a lisp, that would be why. <laughs> it is kind of affecting how I speak. Speak, speak, speak. I don't know why. Sometimes I just get these random ass sores on my tongue. It's annoying for someone who does as much talking as myself. Mm. Oh well. It is what it is. Mm. Also, uh... My entire team is Meows. I guess I should point that out too. <laughs> because, as I have learned from previous games, it is very helpful to have, when you're going around doing post-game stuff, to just have a team of Meows to have to use pickup in Payday. And just get as much stuff as possible while you're doing your thing. Uh, I have not found a slack off here yet. Meow, come on. Get him. Hold on. Get. There you go. Hmm. Uh, we can probably get a slack off later. Anywho, um... We'll just move on for now. Because there are a lot, a lot, a lot of Pokemon that I have not caught. Oh, that's a Rookie D. I thought it was Nimble. Uh, that I have not caught <laughs> in this version, so... Theoretically, I could spend some time just trading Pokemon over from Violet. But... I don't wanna... <laughs> like, the thing is... I feel like that would take about as much time as just catching all the Pokemon here. I cough. So. Really, I don't think it makes much of a difference. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, And of course, the unfortunate thing about running a full team of Meows for pickup is, uh... 
you have to keep telling them not to evolve. <laughs> because once they evolve, they lose pickup. <laughs> no. No. No, Meowth. No. And you can't make them hold Everstone because then they can't pick anything up. Uh, like this polka doll. Get out of here. You approach me, you must die. Uh, also, I've been checking these. I think this is an event one, so it's just a blissey, right? Yeah. Okay. Been checking those just to be like, see if there's anything new in there. But I already have a blissey, or like six. Because of the event. Okay. I think, I think we're, we've caught most of what's in this area. I know there's Growlithe up ahead, which I don't think we have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. Accidentally ran into this Shinx, so it must die. Oh, Meowth is almost dead. Speaking of things dying. Also cute Rockruff. Itch in itself. Very adorable. Enjoy picnicking, I will. Actually, I shouldn't have used those potions if I was going to do this. But oh well. It's fine. Mm, wait, do I have Dunsparce? I do not have Dunsparce. We're going for Dunsparce. Yep, just throw a ball. It's the easiest way to do it. A lot of the times you don't even need to weaken it at this level. Stuff. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I realized last night when I was playing this game, because I did do a little bit of catching and stuff up to this point. Uh, so I got kind of like caught up in the other file I was doing, what I call my personal file. Um, And in that one, I went through the game a little differently. I think I just basically did the bare minimum, and then I was like, okay, I'll come back around for the rest of it. Um, so the thing is, when I switched over to this one, I was still thinking about that one. So I'm like, okay, I still need to like gather items and beat trainers and all that stuff. Uh, and then last night I remembered, oh yeah, wait, I, I did all that. Pretty much the only thing I didn't do in this game was uh, catch Pokemon, so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, and of course we need our Gimme Ghoul coins. We want to get a brand new Goldango. I think I have a Goldango in this game, but if I want another one... With perhaps a better nature or something. Then this would be a good time way to get it. You know? Mm -hmm. And apparently I missed some items. Or I'm actually I'm actually pretty convinced after last night that g items do respawn in this game. I it's been a question ever since I started playing. Scarlet and Violet, but I think, I think actually they do. Also just gonna get, I'm also auto battling just for little bits of experience here and there. I know we're not getting a ton from these super low level mons, but Might as well. What? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bruh. 
That's fine. We got level you quite a bit. I don't think Payday will kill though. It did not. Cool. Oh, that's a trainer. I was like, what is that floating over there? It's a, a trainer's Pokeball. It is interesting how they seem to prioritize rendering the Pokeball over the trainer. I mean, I get it. The ball is probably less polygons, but... It's so noticeable. <laughs> I think it's more noticeable to have the ball floating in the air than it is to have a trainer with no Pokeball. So, oh, hi. Hello, Cloth. How are you? Uh, I wasn't really looking to fight you, but uh, that's how you want to do it. I guess we'll do it that way. See, I'd switch to a more efficient Pokemon for this, but I don't have one. Because, <laughs> uh, my team is entirely made of Meows. So. Okay, that's fine. Your defense just went down, so. Bringing it back up isn't too big a deal. Okay, alright, you're gonna harm me again, that's fine. And catching you is probably the easiest way to end this battle, so I'm just going to do that. Who knows, you might have perfect IVs or something. That is one thing I learned from Poke Rogue is sometimes the easiest way to end a battle is just to catch the Pokemon. <laughs> uh, no. 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 You'll remain a Meowth forever. Forever. Silly cat. Also, another Polka Doll. And I think up just this side of Artisan is another couple Pokemon that we don't have yet. Whoa, Knackly. Whoa. Almost ran into you. So now I'm gonna kill your brethren. What? You couldn't take that one, Meowth? Come on. You're so much higher a level. Got at least 10 levels on that one. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, or Corio, which we've already had. Is that it? I thought there was more unique stuff here. Isn't Nimble supposed to be around here? Squawkabilly, we had, whoops, ran into the other Squawkabilly. That's fine. You just fake it out, and then follow up with a payday. <laughs> you see? You see why Meowth is so useful? Free money. You know, 290 doesn't sound like a lot, but over like 100 battles, that adds up. Orcorio, Rookity, Squawkabilly. You can handle those, right, Meowth? More Squawkabilly. Mm. Ooh, Tandem Mouse. Oh, and Nimble. We'll get both. But Tandem Mouse, I think, is more rare, so. Bro, Nest Ball, go! I think the Nimble ran away, but it's fine. Okay, Tandem Mouse was caught. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Oh, 
Wait. Wait. There it is. There's the nimble. Noist. Caught enough guard. Not that it probably matters. Uh, also, here's a quick ball. Quick balls are also good. But I wanted to use my nest balls first because when else are they going to be more effective? <laughs> right? Oh, hey. Shut up, you. Okie dokie. Cool. Hep. Mm, I think that's about everything here. I was just waiting for Meowth to finish up those auto battles before we go heal up. Yes, and I do actually, I don't know if I'll do it on stream, but I do plan on going through the DLC in this game as well. And I'll do it with this team of Meows. <laughs> I'll just overlevel the hell out of them. Should work. I might run into trouble when it comes to the, the BB League, but... Level 100 Meows can probably handle it? Probably? Anyway, let's cut through Artisan real quick, because ain't no Pokemon to catch here. Alrighty, and I think there's a few new things around here. Like this. Well, we already have that. In fact, we have two shiny Ursa Rings. Which is kind of funny. This is new to us, though. New to Troopa, at least. Uh, let me just quick ball it. What? It is kind of funny. Um. Actually, yeah, it would just be a total coincidence, because I didn't even know the name of the thing. Uh, so... Recently, I think I mentioned that I'm on the board of directors for the local community theater. Um, and so, I haven't got to do it yet, but I'm pretty sure towards the end of my current term, uh, which is a year long, uh, I will get to you know, vote on what shows we'll be doing next season. Uh, and, uh, I'm actually not much of a theater guy, as far as, like, actually seeing shows goes. So, I don't really know a lot of shows. Pretty much all the shows that I know are the ones I've been in. <laughs> so, um... I've kind of been trying to keep an eye out for shows that I've been wanting and that, you know, I might want to suggest. Um, you know, nominate, perhaps. Um, and recently, uh, I don't know what it was. Something recently brought to mind uh, Iron Mouse. And her performance of the song When I Look At You. Because it's it's something she sang on stream quite a few times now. Uh, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, look it up on YouTube if you haven't heard it. Because her singing is amazing. Um, but yeah. And I, I remembered like, oh wait, that song is from a musical, isn't it? So I went and I actually looked up which musical it was from and <laughs> funnily enough considering the game we're playing today and I was playing last night because I looked this up after I was done playing it's from the show The Scarlet Pimpernel <laughs> Pimpernel? Pimpernel I think Pimpernel 
I don't remember. Uh, I have it. I have a performance of it saved in my watch later. Uh, remember now? Well, now I have to freaking check. Uh, control shift T. No, not that. Yeah, Pimper now. Just you. Uh, yeah, so it's from the Scarlet Pimper now. Uh, which is kind of funny. Kind of funny. All the Scarlet things in my life recently. Uh, <laughs> Also, we're getting a little bit more experience now. Oh, that's right. I just remembered, actually. I was... Whoops. Well, first, let's knock out this rookity. Um, it might just die to a... No, it probably won't. It's level 19. Yeah, no. We need a fake out and a payday here. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so, I plan on... Watching that show, seeing if I liked it. I read the synopsis, and it sounds interesting. Uh, essentially, because it was written, it was originally written in 1903, I believe. Um, and it's set in the French Revolution. Towards the start of it, sounds like. Uh, and it's about this guy who goes by... The, uh, the, the moniker Scarlet Pimper now, who is uh, an English nobleman who uh, by day is just kind of like this goofy silly dude just doing stuff uh, and by night is going about and rescuing <laughs> the French aristocrats from being executed via guillotine <laughs> so it's an interesting idea it was it's essentially what I what I can determine is that it's essentially the first kind of superhero story because like he's got the whole disguise thing Hello, friend. Hello, Shinjuin. I was just talking about the, uh... The musical, The Scarlet Pimpernel. Which I just recently learned about. Which is kind of funny, because... It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm playing Scarlet right now. Um... But yeah, it's a... It's an interesting show. I wanna... At some point, I'm gonna sit down and watch the recording I found of it uh, to see if I like it enough to suggest it at the uh, eventual board meeting we'll, where we'll discuss these things. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Yep. Yeah. Blech. Blech. Yep. And that is so far the only show that has really drawn my eye as far as theater is concerned yeah I do feel I do feel given my recent involvement in my local theater I do feel uh, more inclined to get a little more familiar with it Have you finished the game yet or is this your first run I have beaten the game yes um, I'm doing, so, I played through both Scarlet and Violet on YouTube, and then, um, I went and played through the DLC in Violet on, you, partly on YouTube, partly on stream. Um, I think mostly on stream, actually. Uh, so, and the thing is, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just... You know, when it comes to actually playing online with people, because I've gotten some friends who just recently got into these games. Um, when it comes to playing online with people, I'll just, you know, I'll just make a new a new save file and use that. Uh, turns out, not really a practical thing to do. 
Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll just... <laughs> I guess I just gotta do all the stuff in this game again. Hi, Tauros. I need... No, not the Komawa. Oh, wow, I did hit the Tauros. Cool. Uh, I need Tauros. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically I'm just going around trying to catch all the Pokemon right now. Uh, uh, I think... Well, thank you for the follow, Shindrin. With only Meowth. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, currently uh, I'm running with just Meowth. Because I learned in previous games that Meowth is actually really good for doing post-game stuff. Uh, largely because they have the pickup ability, which is free items. Yay. Um, but they lose it when they evolve, which is why I'm stopping them from... Stopping this Meowth from evolving right now. Uh, and they have Payday, which is free money whenever you have to uh, knock a Pokemon out like this. Tauros, who decided to fight us. Although, I don't know if one Meowth is going to be enough for this Tauros, because Intimidate is kind of annoying. Oh, wow, yeah, that was a crit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually learned that back in um, Heart Gold. Well, not Heart Gold. It was Soul Silver. What am I talking about? It was Soul Silver. Uh, I was playing through trying to get a team set up for Pokemon Battle Revolution on my channel. On my YouTube channel, I should say. And I was like, you know what? Why don't... At that point, I was using Persian. Um, I was like, why don't I use Persian? Persian has payday. That's basically free money, right? And I was like, oh, yeah, this is pretty neat, actually. Because then I ended up with as much money as I needed to actually buy things for the team. So. Oh, that's right. I was going to do a picnic to uh, get experience point power. Yeah, okay. That was inevitable. That's fine. We have more where that came from. You can increase that with the move Happy Hour. Yes, actually, I forget who learns Happy Hour. Was it Sinisty? Um, I think. Oh, event Pokemon only. I see. What's my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is uh, Espeon. Although Persian is up there, but uh, Espeon is my favorite. Followed by. Actually, I think Persian might be in the second slot. Second slot. Um, but Gardevoir is also up there. Love Espeon? Absolutely. See, the thing for me is my taste in Pokemon is basically either I like Pokemon that like seem very graceful, like they have it all put together, like know what they're doing sort of thing. You know, like like beautiful Pokemon. Or Pokemon that are just, like, totally derpy and funny. Like, you know, Stunfisk or Dunsparce or <laughs> those kinds. That's that's my taste in Pokemon, basically. Uh, you know, let's just make ourselves a peanut, uh, peanut butter banana sandwich real quick. Look at all these Meows and a Coridon. <laughs> uh, wait, no, I didn't want to redecorate. I wanted to make a sandwich. Thank you. Uh, great peanut butter sandwich. And I'll just use up the last of the red flag picks. He Sweden's O'Rourke is the only one to learn that move, and only the event one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't have the event Zorork. But I feel like I feel like there was a Pokemon in Sword and Shield that had that move. Um I don't remember. Because I think that's... I feel like that's where I first saw that move. Smeargle can learn it with Sketch. Ah, of course, right. I'm pretty sure Smeargle can learn any move with Sketch. Which has always been an interesting gimmick. Just a Pokemon that can have any move set. Kinda wild. Get ourselves some experience point power. You have fun. I might come back later if you're streaming. Have fun. Alrighty. 
mostly anything. <laughs> gotcha. Alrighty. Thanks for dropping in there, Sheen Dweeten. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll be on for the next couple hours, probably. Uh, okay, Meowth. Let's see. Like, what would, what would be an example of a move Smeargle can't learn, then? Because then... I, as far I can't think of any, but I mean I believe that there might be one or two that it wouldn't be able to learn for whatever reason. Dark Void. Oh, okay. I get it. So some of like the signature moves of certain Pokemon. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, that's Dark Rice signature move. Well, it can learn it, but it can't use it. Oh, interesting. Huh. That is strange. Ooh. Toad school. Hold on. This thing's gonna run if it spots me. Oh, get out of here, LeChonk. Alright. Catch that toad school. God, I love quick balls. <laughs> They're so useful. Ah, yes. Good. Oh man, I just realized I'm gonna have to... Actually, you know what? No, I can... I can trade over a, uh... I can trade over a King Gambit from Violet. Because I don't want to have to try and evolve King Gambit again. <laughs> and I already have a, uh, Annihilate, so I won't have to do that. Because I actually used Annihilate in this game. The reason behind it was that Smeargle was used to abuse the move of, was of restricted Pokemon. Ah, I getcha. Gotcha, gotcha. And it was abused in VGC. Right, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I, I can see that. Huh, it is interesting to think that Game Freak actually does make decisions like that based on the competitive scene. What the heck? I didn't realize Komala moved around by rolling. What the hell? And we have Deerling. Hmm. I know there's this swamp over here that I might have a couple unique Pokemon in it. I don't remember exactly. Game Freak usually sometimes listens to the competitive players, right? Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of a different spot. Uh... No. Yeah. That's the thing, is like a lot of Nintendo games don't pay as much attention to the competitive scene as... a lot of other games do, but... It is interesting to think that, you know... There is... A little bit there. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. Hmm. I think we've got all the new stuff in this area. I think. Hmm. Right, I think we can move on anyway. Heal up, because we can. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. See, that's the only... <laughs> that's the other thing I'm gonna need to do is, uh... And partly why I need so much money is I'm gonna need to get a new outfit for <laughs> Troopa here, because I went through the entire game without buying any clothes. <laughs> Just completing the decks, I'm guessing? Yeah, that's the current idea. Um, because the first time I went through this I was doing a sort of challenge run. So I wasn't catching a whole lot. Uh, oh, Cyclozar, I don't think we have you. Um, so yeah, and then I realized that, oh wait, this is the... Oh wait, no, I do have a Cyclozar, okay. Um, I I realized like, oh wait, this is the only uh, save file that I can use for online. So uh, now I have to go and complete the decks again, because I did it in Violet. I completed the Paul the Index in Violet. Anyway, I didn't get all the DLC mons, but 
Uh, I completed the Paldi Index in Violet. I was like, oh, well, uh, I can't use that aside from if I wanted to trade him over, but I didn't feel like doing that, really. Uh, no, I don't need to catch it. I just want to knock it out, actually. Now. Yep, yep. So we're we're going through and catching most of the Pokemon in the decks is the idea, because again, yeah, I didn't I didn't catch a whole lot on my first run through this game, so. Some we already have, of course, but not not a lot. Uh Mark wait, no, I already have Mark Rowe. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so in the habit of just throwing the ball immediately. It's fine. I'll take another battle. It's more money. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. I mean, theoretically it doesn't hurt to have a ton of any single Pokemon. You know, because different IVs and stuff like that, but... Hold on, gotta tell this Meowth not to evolve. Don't do it. Don't evolve, Meowth. Stop it. You will not become limber on my account. I can just heal up. It's fine. Uh... Yeah, so for these guys... Oh wait, has anyone, has anyone picked up an item recently? No? Okay. Uh, let's see... Yeah, get that Lechonk. And because I am going to be going through the DLC with these Meows, uh, I do want to get as much experience as possible because... Uh, the Blueberry League will probably be a bit challenging to handle with just Meowth. <laughs> mm -hmm. If not impossible. <laughs> so. Yeah. We're just gonna auto battle as much as we can. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Thought there was another item there, but I guess not. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I don't think there was anything specifically over in that area that was unique. Hmm. Okay, go talk to, talk to the Psyduck. Yes, have a friendly conversation with the Psyduck that involves knocking it out. Uh -huh, okay, different area. Uh, what unique mods are in this area? I do not recall. Mm, I think Watro might be down at the beach. Uh, Crab Rawler maybe. Hmm. Also, you can never have enough Gimme Ghoul coins. Unless you've hit 999, which I don't think we have. Uh, let's see. No, this one. How many Gimme Ghoul coins do we have? Ba -ba 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 -ba. 191. Really? Is that all? Wow. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more. I mean, I already have a gold dango, so technically I don't actually need coins right now, but if I want to evolve another one, then I'll need coins. Because if my friends stay interested in this game long enough, uh, I might actually put together a somewhat competitive team. <laughs> Mm 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Mm, oh yeah, there's this Growlithe over there that has a fancy Terra type. Um, I don't know if I want to go for it, actually. Because I believe it's Rock Terra. Which is going to be kind of tough to fight. I mean, I could pull other Pokemon out and have them do it, but... Maybe I'll just pass on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Up. Yeah. Cool. Just doop doop do. Also, uh. Do I have a Meryl? I do have a Meryl. Okay. Uh, if you spot any shinies, let me know, because it wouldn't be the first time I've... Oop, there is Watchrill. It wouldn't be the first time I've just walked by a shiny. Ooh, that, uh, that feels pretty bad when you're editing a video and you see a shiny that you just didn't notice when you were playing the game. Not that I would know from experience. No, we don't want Screech. Also, we don't want you to evolve. But first this. I feel like I feel like I need to get a shiny Marie now. Just on based on the fact that I missed the one. <laughs> Ah, uh, and Ampharos is one of my favorite Pokemon, too. Feels bad, man. Go grab the LP while I can as well. Just grab that. Did you finish him off? Okay, finish him off. You can do it, I believe. Good job, Meowth. You've done it. You've killed them all. Whoa. And now I heal you. Oh, hey, a Polka doll. They do seem to be picking up a lot of those lately. Not that I'm complaining. I can always sell them if I need to. Yeah, I was only recently reminded of how much more broken pickup used to be. Because <laughs> uh, apparently in Ruby and Sapphire, the first game where pickup existed, uh, it was just like a random table that wasn't based on level like it is now. So <laughs> you could just pick up like a full restore with a level 2 Zigzagoon. And it was... That's that's kind of amusing to me. Or like a rare candy. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh... You can just do that, huh? It's crazy. Alright. Tadbulb, you need to get in my box. Please and thank you. Good. Good, good, good. The unfortunate thing, other unfortunate thing perhaps, uh, is that I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find whatever stakes I'm missing again, which is gonna be a, a fun task. Oh well. It is what it is. Uh, do I have Sandy Gast? Yes, I actually caught the special Terra one. I remember now. Wiglet, I already have you. Marini, I think I need you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We need us a Marini. Yep. And, uh... I probably wouldn't be so gung-ho on completing the decks, except that 
Uh, after I got the shiny charm in Violet, I felt like I was running into shinies, like, constantly. <laughs> so it's like, it, it does kind of seem worth it. <laughs> Granted, I ran into my fair share of shinies even before that, but... Okay, we have Slowpoke. We're good there. Uh, Magikarp we have... Anything else on this beach that I don't have? Weasel we have... Uh, crab Brawler might be new. Yeah, Crab Brawler. Let's get that one. Hey, bud. You want to get in the ball? Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. Punches trees and eats the berries. Ah, makes sense. All right, and I forgot we already have a crabominable because <laughs> we traded it over as a crabominable and not a crab brawler. Take this, slow poke. My mouth power. Meow. Okay. Uh, and here we are in Levincia. I think we got... Actually, there's this little area down here, I believe. Oh, it's across the river, actually. A little area across the river that has some unique Pokemon in it. I think, like, Grimer and... I mean, Ralt and Curly are unique, but they're rare, at least, so... I mean, I already have Ralts and Curly, yeah, so I don't really need to worry about it, but... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alrighty. Whip. I'm gonna just drop down here. Or hopefully it's some interesting new mons. No, I don't need to go back up, thank you. Grimer! Gr no, not Rookity Grimer! Also, I don't think I have Corvus Squire either, so probably get that as well. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, love to see it. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I need a mastiff as well. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I do need Corvus Wire. A lot of the times it's easier just to catch the evolved form than to actually evolve them on. So that's what I'm doing. Besides, the one that I catch might have a better nature or something. Uh -oh. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh wait, shop it. I need shop it. It's like, what is that floating there? What could possibly be floating around at this time? Uh, I also know Rotom is in the area around Lavincia. Not this area, I don't think, but nearby. So I will need that, I think. I think I have the Rotom catalog, so that would be good. Uh, Rotom is a very nice Pokemon to have for... PvP sort of stuff. Probably raids too, I would imagine. It's very unique typings on that one. Can I climb this? Yes, perfect. Okie dokie. Uh, let's... Nope, oh, nope, wrong button. Oh wait, but I think I can get a reward. No? Okay. 
one more Pokemon. Got it. Uh, let's heal up. I don't think we actually lost any HP recently, but let's do it anyway. Yay. Okie doke. Uh, oh, and they have some items for me to grab, too. Good stuff. Alrighty. And then I can sell some stuff. Boop, boop. Bulk sell. Good. I'm going to immediately use that money to buy more potions. <laughs> uh, what can we buy for 19,000? about 96 more potions. Cool. Uh, I should actually do the math on which potion is actually most efficient. I think it's regular potion. Hold on. Let me just do the math now. So, 200 for 20 HP. That's 100 per 8, or that's 10 per HP. Uh, this is 700 for 60 HP, that's more than 10 for HP. This is 1500 for 120 HP, that is also more than 10. So yeah, potions are the most cost efficient if you're just planning on using auto heal. Of those three options, I should say, because uh, I mean, there's stuff like fresh water and lemonade you can get, but that's not as easy to buy in bulk, so. Moo Moo Milk. I wish Moo Moo Milk was more common an item because it really does, at least in the previous games, it really did fill the gap between Super Potion and Hyper Potion back when Super Potion was 50 and Hyper Potion was 200. Now it's less of an issue, but still might be nice. I want to go this way, because I do believe this is where Rotom shows up. Also, we can just take out a bunch of watch roll. Mm -hmm. Wait, do I have skip loom? I do not have skip loom. Let me get a skip loom. Uh. Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, granted... It doesn't take long to evolve Hoppip to Skip Loom, but it's like level 18, I believe. It's pretty early. Nice. Okay. Now I have a reward waiting. Let's go. Dive balls, yay. Mm, so up around here is usually where Rotom spawns. Get him. I might actually just kind of catch whatever is easiest to catch in this version and then trade over the ones that are harder to get. I'm not sure. Oh, well. Okay, Meowth. Oh, hey, a polka doll. We'll have to see whether I feel like putting in the effort to actually get stuff like the Ruinous Pokemon. Uh, King Gambit, I'm definitely trading over though. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's too much work. Mm -hmm. Go Meowth. At least you're getting a Coridon Kor without trading. Yeah! Mm -hmm, mm hmm Ah. I could even get a set. Wait, actually I think I traded the second one over to Violet, so I would have to trade it back. <laughs> I was gonna say I could even get a second one, but yeah. No, I think I would have to trade it back from Violet. Mm -hmm. 
Get a Meowth. While I check out this raid den here. Mostly just for the LP. Hold on, let me get this. Okay. Didn't see any Rotom, but that doesn't mean they're not going to spawn there. Hold on. There we go. Oh, hey, an item. Blissey Raids? Yeah, I think there was a an event going on, and I don't think I've connected online since then, so I think uh, <laughs> there's just a bunch of Blissey Raids around. Uh, I've done, I did quite a few of them with some friends, so I'm not really in the need for Blissey, but... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you haven't updated your rates. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been online in a sec. So. Uh, Drifloon, do I have you? Yeah. Okay. Man, I'm looking for Rota. Maybe I should make a sandwich. Is my other sandwich? It's still active. Maybe I grind until I find, or until that uh, sandwich deactivates. And maybe I'll luck into a Rotom before then. And if not, then maybe I'll get myself, make myself a ghost or electric sandwich. Uh, what? Catch this low kicks because we don't have that yet. Oh, okay, or not. Endure, that's fine. I wasn't going to try and knock you out anyway. Hit him with payday. Money. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's fine. Yeah. Ouchie. That's fine, I have more Meows. Uh, just a few more. At this point I'm not really concerned about which mouse I'm using for what, but I might customize them a little bit in the future. Particularly when I get to the DLC and actually need to win battles with trainers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow. Ow. Did I get you down to red? I don't remember. Uh, eh, you're in the orange. Eh, I could probably still catch you. Uh, what do I have? Oh, I have dusk balls. Ah, oh, I should have used the net, net, net ball instead. Oh well. Yeah, oh. I was just about to celebrate, friend, and then you broke out. How dare. How dare you. Uh, well, I guess this will give me a chance to use a netball instead. Mm -hmm. It is kind of weird to me, the overlap between the netball and the dive ball. The fact that they're both... Uh, well, thank you, Meowth, but I don't think uh, it's going to matter. Uh, the fact that they're both good against water Pokemon, and I feel like the Netball could theoretically be good against flying Pokemon, but it's not. Like, I always think it is, but it's not. Uh, whip. Go Netball. Maybe I should have hit it with another fake out. Mm, probably. Nice. Alright, you know what, I'll just hit it with another payday. Maybe it dies, but... No, okay. Make things slightly easier on myself. Ow. Stop that. Stop being such a jerk, low kicks. There we go. Okay. 
Nice. Okie dokie. There we go. Cool. Um, now I need a couple revives here. Do -do 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 -do. Good stuff. Ba -doop. Ba -doop. Okay. Uh, is that power still? For 30 seconds. Okay. Hi, Meryl. So glad that you're glad to see me. Also die. Uh, get a little bit more experience while we're... While the male power is still active. Okay, well, maybe not. Meowth can't handle the Grimer. The rickety. Hi. How's it going? Uh, I'm just gonna let me off finish with this little group here. Oh, there you go, there you go. Good job, Meowth. Okay. Picnic time! That's the wrong button! Don't know why I think it's why. Just have a picnic by the lighthouse, just in the middle of the road. Don't mind us. Alright, make a sandwich. Let's see if we can make a ghost encounter or an electric counter encounter sandwich. If we have the materials. Um, let's see. Catching power ghost. That's nice. Uh, catching power flying. We do have the city right next to us if we need to buy things, so, but... Oh, here's Encounter Power Ghost. Uh, maybe we have level 2 though, so let's check. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Encounter Power Ghost... Anyone? Um, oh, this is level 2 Encounter Power Ghost, but it's... Uh, we don't have enough for that. Uh, okay. And then let's go back. Wait, where was it? Uh, sweet sandwich? Great sweet sandwich? FD? No. And that was before the ham sandwich then. Whoop. Ah, yes, the classic book of deal. We'll do that then. Bum, 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 do, 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 do. Alrighty, let's start with the prosciutto. Lovely prosciutto. Don't mind the bowl glitching through the tablecloth, it's fine. Uh, eh. That just happens every time, you know? It's just a normal occurrence when you're making a sandwich. Clearly. Whip. Perfect. Perfect. Woo! Alright, let's get that encounter power ghost. See if we can't find ourselves a Rotom. I guess I could have done electric too, but... Eh. We'll see. Okay. Pack up. Oh, apparently they're chancy around here too. I didn't even know that. So I could actually grind here. Because hmm. I'm pretty sure our meows could take the chancy. Doop doop doop. Okay, yeah, I see the shop it. I see the drift loon. But what about Rotom? Yeah, dearling. Hmm. Hmm. What about the Rotom? Do 
all new powers last for half an hour? I would think so. Yeah, looks like. <gasps> there it is. Yeah. Get that Rotom. Get it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah, frick. Come on. Come on. Wait, why did I use a quick ball again? It's not gonna work on the second turn. That's not how that works. Now. Uh, it won't die to a bite, right? Okay, good. Good stuff. Uh, okay, so now we throw a Dusk Ball. And hopefully catch it. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm Cool. Okay, uh, well, since there's supposed to be Chansey in this area, uh, I kind of want to do a little bit of grinding while we can. Uh, first let's heal you up. I'm actually going to move a different Meowth there. There it is. Uh, okay. I didn't realize you could find Chansey this early in the, in the game. I know you can find Hapini in the first area, but... They aren't quite as good. For experience, unfortunately. Uh, Bocadillo... Ham Sandwich. That's our standard one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, ham, and three tiny slices of pickle. Yes, that is enough for a ham sandwich. Definitely. Jeez, it's like we're working at Subway or something. <laughs> uh. Alrighty. Good stuff. Now we eat. Now we eat. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can't find some chancy that now. Chancy wanna pop up? A? I mean, Young Goose and Gumshoes are fine too. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> you know, apparently cannot handle the Gumshoes. I honestly don't know if Meowth can handle Wink alone either. Uh, oh. I, did I move out of the area where they can be found? I do not know. You know what? I could just check the Pokedex. Okay, well. Let's, let's look. Let's have a look in the Pokedex. To see exactly. Uh, very rarely seen quick to run away. Right. So it does. Yeah, it looks like the whole area around Lavincia, if I'm reading the map right, is around this lighthouse. Yeah. That's where we should be able to find Chansey. But I haven't seen any yet. Oh, yep, yeah, that's fine, buddy. You just... 
You just take that potion, I guess. <sighs> I do miss the feature. I think it was only in Black and White 2. Where they would show you, like, here's what Pokemon you can find on this route that you're on. Like, I... I can't imagine why that hasn't been a feature since then. Because that is such, like... If you're trying to catch all the Pokemon, that is such a good feature to have. And, like, they didn't give it away. Because I think they had just, like, question marks for Pokemon that you haven't seen yet. Which works perfectly fine, I would think, to just not spoil anything. I mean, it did kind of help that Black and White 2 didn't have any new Pokemon in it, but... Except, I guess, technically the Curum forms. If you're thinking about that. Uh, Chansey must be really rare spawns. If, even with a sandwich, they're not showing up. Because so I feel like if I were in that northern area where the fairy crew is, I would have definitely found a Chansey by now. Well, hi, Tandem Mouse. Also, hi, Squawkabilly. I didn't really want to fight you, but sure. Still not seeing any Chansey, unfortunately. Alright, maybe we'll scrap the grinding idea. After all, I've probably only got about, well, two hours left, approximately, before I need to call it quits for the day. Don't hit me again? Cool. Appreciate it. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, no. No. No, you don't get to evolve. Not allowed. Thank you. Five is nice, thank you. Alright, let's put another Meowth in front. Cool. Alright, we'll just keep moving on then. Uh, after having a picnic to reset our raid power. Or not raid power. Meal power. Get it back to experience point power. Alright, make ourselves another banana sandwich. Or peanut butter sandwich, as they call it. Uh -huh. Potentially the easiest sandwich to make in this game. You know, I'm kind of wondering what happens if you just make a sandwich with nothing on it. It's just two pieces of bread. What power does that give you? <laughs> I might have to test that out sometime. Because <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. You just do a make your own with one ingredient and then you just toss the ingredients to the side. <laughs> Experience point power normal. Good. Alrighty. Well, hi, Tauros. None of you are special typing, unfortunately. So I'm not really interested in y'all. Alrighty. Head back through town into the next area. 
Mm. Alright. East area pro or East Province area two. Always get those mixed up. Mm. Hmm. Bramble gas, not really good for our uh, auto battling, given the ghost typing. It is kind of unfortunate trying to auto battle with ghost type or normal types, <laughs> as of the whole not being super effective against anything thing. Okay, quick ball on this. Okay. Very good, very good. Alright. Huh, I don't remember Silicobra being possible to get here. Interesting. Uh, okay, now I gotta think. Was there anywhere? Oof. Okay, yeah, that's fair meowth. That's... I kind of sent you to the wolves on that one. Uh... Oh, wait. Cute fant. I would like to catch you, you fant. The copper elephant. If you didn't know, that's why it's named Qfant, is CU is the it's, it's copper on the periodic table of elements. Yeah. Just so you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Done. So, um... Let's throw a different Meowth in front. Right. At that button. There we go. God, I love that feature. Hey, Larvitar! Oh wait, I already have a Larvitar. Uh, never mind, Lavatar. False alarm. But I might catch you anyway. Because Tyranitar is a neat Pokemon that I might actually use if I'm running a Sandstorm team. Also probably easier to just catch it than to knock it out, so. And I never run. Okay, sometimes I run, but... Nope. I believe Voltorb is in this area too. I think it's a specific part of this area. No. No, it's all around this area. I am remembering now. Yeah, okay, nobody picked up anything. Good. Well, I mean, not good, but... It's good that I didn't miss anything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, speak of the devil. Don't blow yourself up, please. I would appreciate if you didn't do that. Because they just kind of like to do that randomly. <sighs> it's fine. Bye -bye. Rolls to move. If the ground is uneven, a sudden jolt could cause it to explode. Wow. That doesn't seem very practical in terms of survival, but okay. Oh, hey, look, more Meowth. Also, Growlithe. Um, Guru? I don't have Varum. Let's get Varum. Uh, 
Varum has a unique typing and is arguably the best counter to fairy types. Well, Rever Varum anyway. Because I believe it's, well, I was going to say it's the only four times resistance, but technically Heatrin and uh, Salazzle are four times resistant to fairy. But like, who uses them? Right. Okay, yep, couldn't handle the Doug Trio. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, Bomb Shroom. Uh, I'm going to go remind myself what this mon was down here. Uh, what are you? Oh, Curlia. Uh, Curlia with special typing. <laughs> I'm not getting the drop on it. It's fine. What was your terror type again? Fire. Alright. Okay, yeah, yeah. That is somewhat useful. Because I do believe... I do believe Gardevoir gets access to Mystical Fire. Also, Fire resists Steel, which is one of Curlia's normal weaknesses. So that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll catch this one. Up. Just gotta knock it into the red first. Bam. Okay, so I can use a repeat ball on this. Hive room. <laughs> Flying around in the background. Okay. One thing I do kind of want to look up or figure out some way is uh, <laughs> how Terra types are passed down or if they're passed down in by breeding. Yeah, how, how 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 does terra how do terra types work with breeding? I don't know. If you've got them on with a special terra type and you breed it, is it does the offspring have the special terra type, or is it just its normal terra type? I would hope it's the former and not the latter, because then that would make Pokemon like Eevee significantly better. To breed, but we'll have to see. Uh, uh, whoa, hey guys. Thanks for showing up. Appreciate it. Uh, is there anything else special in this area? Have I gotten everything? Do I have Rufflet? I do have Rufflet. Okay. Uh, go get a Meowth. Get that Voltorb. Nice. A lot of rock types around here, and I'm not super fond of that. Given that I'm using normal types. Steel types as well. Not great for us. Almost ran into that Bramblegast. Oh, hey, Lucario. <laughs> and thanks for the follow. Nice to meet you as well. I'm just out here... Trying to complete the decks again, because I did it in Violet, but <laughs> then I realized that uh, I can't play online in Violet, and this is the only save file I can play online with. So, yeah, now we're completing the decks in Scarlet. And we're running Meowth because of pickup and payday. <laughs> so. Speaking of, does anyone have... Oh, yep. Yeah. Gotta grab this revive from this Meowth. What is my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Espeon. I like Pokemon that are graceful and, you know, look like they have it all put together. And Pokemon that are kind of doofy. Like, um, Bidoof or Stunfisk or Dunsparce. Those are also some of my favorites. 
but overall favorite is Espeon, then probably Persian, and then probably Gardevoir. Yes, yes, yes. But I do enjoy pretty much all Pokemon. Have you finished the game? I have, yes. I have beaten the game. Uh, I did the DLC in Violet, but I have not done the DLC in this version. So, eventually I will be getting to that once I complete the Paldia decks. You look so cool. Thank you! I have put a little bit of effort into my look. So I appreciate you saying that. Alrighty. All right, all right. Who else do we have in here that we need to catch? Wasn't expecting the car coal, actually. But I probably should have been, given the roly coly around. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Mm, oh, Firestone, that's fun. Uh, oh, that's a lot of Q-Fan. We don't want to try and auto battle them. Not with our normal types. Uh, oh, hey, a rare candy. Fantastic meow, thank you. Can I give you a shiny gift? Uh, well, I suppose... If there are no strings attached, you know? Let's see, let's see, how do we do this again? Uh, connect to the internet. From Scarlet or Violet or both. Uh, surprise me, I guess? Oh, okay, thank you. Alright, we are online now. Guess I'll just go to the Poke Portal. Yeah, if you've got something to just give away, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, set a link code, I suppose. About nine five nine five. Oh wait, okay. You've already got one for me. Okay, one three five seven nine uh, two four six two four six. Okay. All right. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Uh, I can't promise you I'll give you anything valuable in return, but want to guess the shiny gift? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Ooh, if it were an Eevee, that'd be pretty great. Uh, but you know, I, I'll just guess Eevee. Sure. There's a lot of Pokemon I could guess, but I'll just guess Eevee. Um, how does a, how does a, how does a Meowth sound? <laughs> Since I'm running all Meowth. Give me a Meowth? Okay, sure. Oh, Quagsire. Oh, nice. I love Quagsire. Well, thank you very much for your shiny Quagsire. One of my favorite Pokemon, actually. It fits into that doofy category <laughs> that I very much like. What do you think? I love it! I love a pink Quagsire. Nice. Thank you, thank you. I will absolutely take that sort of thing. Uh, I guess maybe I could have a look at it. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Oh, solid moveset too. Nice. Thanks again. Want to put it on the team? Uh, I don't think I will. Uh, I'm running the mouse specifically so that I can pick up things. So... 
I might later, but right now I'm... I got a reason I'm using the Meows. Let's see, any other Pokemon that I'm missing from this area? I don't think so. But I will have to see. Hmm. Oh yeah, that can be part of your Kitakumi team. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Nothing new down there. Uh, I would auto battle those rufflets, but there's that card hole in them that I know is just going to beat up my own Pokemon. So. Also, apparently, there's an outbreak here of Pokemon that I haven't seen before. Let's see what it is, perhaps. You know what, I'll just drop down. Yeah, it's fine. Carcoal! Oh, uh, okay. Well, I've seen a Carcoal before. I feel like it should have been on the map, but oh well. I guess I misunderstand how that works. No, oh, I'm not here to grind Carcoal, so... That Voltorb before it explodes. Good job. You did it. Now do it again. Very nice, Meowth. Uh, let me swap Meows here. Alrighty. Oh. Get them. Get them before they explode. Nice, nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up. <laughs> All right. Let's sell some items here. Don't have much to sell, but some, at least. Oh wait, yes. Okay, good. Slowly working up our po potion stash. Uh, what can we get for 15k? 75. We are gaining more potions than we are losing, which is fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I think, however, that this might be the point. I'll have to check the Tanglewood, but um, I think that's what it was called. The forest. Uh, ah, but I think this might actually be where we head over to the other side. Because the levels are getting kind of high over here. Because my meows are 33, 34. Whereas the wild Pokemon around here, at least up the mountain here, up the passage, eh, about the same level. Like, at least the same level. And I want to be able to auto battle, so. Let me check the forest first. And depending on the levels there, we might just go... Oh, hold on. Also, let me check this raid. Sorry, Uh Oh, five-star electric star raptor. I would, but not now. It's actually really good, though. 
You know what? I probably I think I have Talk Super around. I think I could use Talk Super for this. Hold up. Let's see. Uh, talk super, are you here? Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, you should be able to handle this. Let's go. Electric Terra type on a flying type is actually really good. Because <laughs> they're not going to have a ground type. Well, they might have a ground type in on your flying type. But the thing is, uh, if they try to hit you with Electric and Terra, and there you go. Hey, look, another Clodsire. Nice. Clodsire is also one of my favorite Pokemon. It's just, ah, might be my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon even. <laughs> I think poison is our terror type though, so unfortunately we don't get Terra if Terra isn't gonna help us much here, but Hooray Ah, good, good. Oh that was a crit too, okay. That's why that did so much damage. Talk Super's got this. Okay, just do that twice, that's fine. I don't mind. Looks like everyone's using relatively effective moves, which is good. And we don't have frickin' Arboliva on the team. Ow. Does hurt itself with that, though. Which is nice. Okay, okay. Keep hitting it. You got this stock super, I believe. Uh... Uh, yeah, we're terra or er, poison terra, so it's not really gonna help us unless we run out of earthquakes. Ow, double edge hurts though. Well, now that I think about it, I guess it's not as big a deal since terra blast exists, but the fact that Star Raptor probably doesn't learn any electric moves. Like, maybe it can have wild charge as an egg move or something, but... I don't know. Now keeps hitting me with double edge. It hurts. Okay. Come on. There we go. Thank you, game, for eventually relenting and letting me choose a move. Okay. Shield's broken. We should have plenty of time to finish this off. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Also, I don't think I have Star Raptor in the decks yet, so this will be uh, a new catch for us as well. Uh, might as well go ahead and throw... A premier ball, because that's neat. This animation is very cool, as always. Alrighty. There we go. Ooh, we got some Herba Mystica for that, too. Nice. You'd love to see Herba Mystica. Mm -hmm. 
Also, electric terror type in general is pretty good because, you know, your only weakness is ground. And also, if you have a mon with, like, levitate, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to put it on the team. Uh, we don't even have Starly or Staravia. That's funny. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Meowth defeated a Meowth. Good job. You defeated one of your own kind. How lovely. Uh, yeah, so let's... Tag Tree Thicket, that's what it was called. Uh, level 25, that's not bad. I think we should be able to handle stuff in here. Oh god. As long as we can handle the frames. Uh, a mass outbreak of, break of coin cologne. Oh man. Okay, but what's this? Okay, I love Eevee, but... It's only normal Terra type. <laughs> That's the normal Terra type for an Eevee. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Nah on this one. Oranguru, I don't have you. Okay. Oh right, because I caught you to send over to Violet. Right. Because uh, you are Scarlet exclusive. At least I think you are. I think Passimian is the alternative. Hmm. Ah, fungus. They're so easy to run into. Uh, I'll just knock you out with a fake out. Okay, it's going to take a few paydays to do this, but that's fine. That just means more money, right? Yeah. Yeah, Giga Drain. Oh, there's Impidimp over there, which is... Potentially something I don't have. Don't remember. Been making a lot of use of Impidimp in Poker Rogue, so <laughs> I am familiar with it. Mm -hmm. bah. Okay. No, you don't evolve. We don't allow evolving in this household. We don't believe in it. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, what else we got? We can take out that fungus. Where'd that impidimp go? There it is. You. Oh, that was a Zerua. I forgot that they do that. That was not a fungus, that was a Zerua. <laughs> Which I think I need to catch. So. I gotta watch out for that, I guess. But hey, I caught an Impidimp, so that's neat. Alright. Cool, cool. I'm back. How's it going? Good, good. Good to see you back. Uh, we are in the tag tree t thicket currently. And I'm actually trying to keep my eye out for Zerua now because I think I, Zerua is one of the ones that I'm missing. I think I have Zorork in the decks, but not Zerua. And then once we're done in here, we're probably heading over to the west side of Balia. To handle that. No, get the get the fungus, please. Thank you. Alright. Also, uh Lucario there was kind enough to give me a uh, shiny quagsire. It's 
Are you trying to fill the whole decks? Yes! Yes, I am. So... Yeah, because I, I was doing a challenge run of sorts when I first played through this game, so I wasn't catching a lot of Pokémon. And then I realized, hey, <laughs> wait a minute, this is the only... Oh, I already have a Mimikyu, right. Uh, this is the only uh, save file I can use to play online, so... <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe I should, you know, fill the decks in case I want to actually build a team or something. Uh, I don't think there's anything special across the river. Ooh, not that. Yeah! Pretty neat. Uh, let's see. That's a Kamala. We can handle Kamala, right? Okay, well. That's fine. Uh, what is this raid? Okay, Electric Corvusquire is pretty good, actually. <laughs> Let me just, uh... Grab Tuck Super here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Are you playing competitive? Mm, not really planning on it, no, but I have a couple friends who just recently got into Scarlet and Violet, and they've been wanting to battle, so I might put together a team to play with against them. Because I battled against them already, but I only really used, like, the team I used in, you know, playing through the game. But if I wanted to get a little more serious about it, that team wouldn't be fantastic, so... You know, I'm prepping, potentially, for, uh, future battles with friends. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I am... I have dabbled in competitive before, uh, back in... Well, a few different times, actually. Um, but mostly, mostly in Pokemon Showdown, and not in the actual games. Because it takes a lot of effort to build a team. Are you good at building teams? I would like to think so. Like, I know the theory behind it pretty well, but... I mean, I, I haven't tested myself a lot. Like, I've played a bit of Showdown, and did decently well there. Uh, but I haven't really, like, tried to... tried in a main game to put together a real... a real solid team. Oh, hey, look, a bot. <laughs> Goodbye, bot. Alright, uh, set... Yep, 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 yep. We've read that before. We actually have Corvusquire, but Electric Terror type is too good to pass up on this mon. Okay. Am I missing any other Pokemon here in the thicket? Uh, Impidimp we just got. Never tried with the whole item thing. I think it's really hard. Yeah, yeah, it can be pretty tough to build a team. And that's kind of what's kept me from doing it in the main game main games. I did actually, I guess technically I have built a team in um, Soul Silver because I built that for Battle Revolution, which I have played <laughs> basically over the whole span of my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, I built a team for that specifically, and that was it took a lot of work, um, and I'm looking at potentially building another team in that game for Battle Revolution because I need a, but I probably will need a Little Cup team. <laughs> yeah, back in the day in X and Y, I used to, but now it's so many Pokemon, it's kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole lot of options. Arguably too many. 
Nah, nah. Um, I think I've got everything here in the thicket. Let's check this raid, though. And maybe the one up above it, too. Let's see. Um, Fighting Bisharp. Hmm. I think I'll pass. Fungus. Impadamp. Alright. Let's check out this grass raid before we go. Do-ba-do-ba-do. Next evolution of it is really good. Yeah! Yes, I am familiar. Uh, grass Houndstone. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, King Gambit. I am. Um, I have used in Poker Rogue actually, and I beat the game with it. I do like King Gambit. Not exactly my style of Pokemon, but I do realize that it is very effective. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to here, the West Gate of Mesa Goza. Because, uh, yeah, levels are getting kind of high for us, so we're going to the other side and catching what we're missing over here. Also, picnicking with the needy. Very good, but a bit funny to looking at, to say the least. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that it's kind of just like sitting down in that pose, it's very strange. Uh, Mareep, do I have you? I do not. I will catch you then. Get him. Nice. Okay. Needs a posture check. Yeah, right? So slumped over all the time. <laughs> Kind of funny. Of course, you've reminded me. I am often also slumped over all the time, so allow me to straighten up a little bit. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Ooh, new reward in the decks. Always take those. Ten bags of Stardust. Nice. Makes it more relatable. <laughs> yeah. Too relatable, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know we need Mastiff, which is in this area. Small live. We don't have small live either. Hi, small live. Getting the ball, small live. Yes, good. Good. I'd love to see it. Also, I see that shadow of a hopip. Alright. Not that I need hop up. It's just fun to see. Uh, nope, no items. I like small of so tiny. Oh yeah! Yeah, no, the name fits. It is a very cute mon. I'm not a huge fan of Arboliva, personally. I like Smoliv, I like Doliv, but Arboliva is like... Uh... Oh wait, there's Starly here. Meowth just knocked one out. I need Starly though. I have Staravia, or Staraptor. I don't have Staravia. Where were those Starly that you were knocking out, Meowth? I mean, I guess you can take this hop up while we're waiting. A bit threatening. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Keep going, Meowth. You got this. Uh, is my meal power still going? It is not. Okay. I should have a picnic then. Let's. Do that. Alright. 
Uh, I want to make a sandwich. Let's make a peanut butter sandwich. That one is ultra peanut butter sandwich. Ooh. I mean, doesn't have the power we want, so no, but we'll just make a great peanut butter sandwich. If you ever play competitive Pokemon, get a Meowth in. <laughs> I have, um, so funnily enough, uh, in the team that I made for Battle Revolution, I did actually, I am actually using a Persian. <laughs> because that was, Soul Silver was the game where I realized how useful Meowth and Persian are. Just, just because of Payday, but also because of Pickup on Meowth. So. Is it valid? Mm, it's alright. Um. I mean, Technician Fake Out is with Bite and like Aerial Ace is not terrible. Um, so it's like, if you like Persian enough, it's worth it enough to use, but. And plus, I think I think Persian's moveset got a lot better in later games, so. Um, or at least somewhat better, anyway. Because uh, I think it has access to Sucker Punch now, which would also be good. But I don't recall exactly. Ooh, Mastiff, I need you. Fake Out 2 is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bop. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good stuff. Let's see. Yeah, Mastiff is a strange looking mon. Not, not terribly in love with it, but I do love my boss diff. I respect the grind. I don't think I'd have the same attention span for this. Yeah, I mean, as someone who is, uh, I mean, we're talking about attention span. Uh, I'm also streaming this, so part of my mind is occupied by just talking, you know, making, making sure the stream is interesting, you know? Uh, but also part of it is, you know, I've been I've been playing Pokemon for a long time, so... <laughs> I, uh... I, it doesn't take much for me to play more of it, really. Let's see, what's this raid? Psychic Marini. Eh, I'll pass. Yeah, I'd love to stream this game, but I don't have the things for it. Ah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't take too much, but yeah, Capture Guard can be pretty expensive. And you do have to have probably a decent computer to stream this sort of thing. Vespaquen, I need you. Also that combi over there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice. Have you ever played Pokemon Fusion? I have not. Uh, I'm. I think it's Infinite Fusion you're referring to, if I'm correct. Um, I have not played Infinite Fusion, but I have played. I've been playing a lot of actually. Um, Poke Rogue, which has the fusions in it. It's even, I believe it's even the same, like, icon and everything for the item, for the DNA splicer. Oh, look, a female! Nice! That's lucky. Um, yeah, so, I have experienced fusions through Poke Rogue, which is really cool. I keep trying to, <laughs> I keep trying to get fusions with Shedinja working. But because the items you get in Poker Rogue are mostly random, you can't you're not guaranteed to get the DNA splicers, so it's like you can run Shedinja, but it's just kind of up to luck whether you get the splicers to use it with. 
Because, like, if you get Shedinja and you fuse it with either a normal or a dark type, then you have a Pokemon with only one weakness that has Wonder Guard. <laughs> and that's just... Yeah, that's... It's very powerful. 2 OP, yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, I heard that gimme ghoul. There you are. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else around here we're missing? I know we have Jigglypuff. Got that on the other side. Saito, I know we have. Hmm. Hmm. I think we can go across the river and there's some more Pokemon. Mm. But I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything in this area first. Yeah, again, that feature from Black and White 2 where they're like, hey, here's all the Pokemon in this area would be really nice. Oh, actually, we can... Well, I don't think we need to, but we can get Eevee here. I know that. Uh, if we're lucky. Let's see. Let's go over here, see if we can't find an Eevee, because I believe this is where the Eevee spawn is. Not exactly in this location, but around here somewhere. Mm. There you go. Mm, not seeing any Eevee. There's also a spot across the river where they tend to spawn. Okay, alright. Good stuff. I do love how we get so little experience from this, but it adds up, so... I'm still gonna take the time, plus having items for TMs and stuff is nice. So, still worth auto-battling, in my opinion. Yeah, honestly, I think it was really smart of them to add auto-battling in at the same time that they added the, uh, added the, you know, craftable TMs. Do I have Krikatot? No. Okay. I get it. You can come out wherever you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, love me an Eevee. Um, but yeah, I think it was really smart that they added auto-battling when they added... Crafting TMs because uh, trying to gather all these materials with regular battling would be such a pain. Two days ago, I started my first run of this game and got a shiny rock rough, so this game is already great. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. I that's that's yeah, you love to see it. Yep, yep. Uh, I've caught, I've caught a few shinies between this and Violet. Uh, let's see. I know I got two Teddy Ursas, which was kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else I got in the main game. In the DLC, I got, like, four or five. Put so many good mechanics in. They really did. I, man, I, I adore Scarlet and Violet. They are... Absolutely my favorite Pokemon games. They have dethroned black and white for me. <laughs> Just crazy. Because I also really like black and white. <laughs> so. Yeah, if this game had more FPS, it'd be the greatest game. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, the... It's the thing, it's just, it's just, I wish, I would have waited, I would have waited another six months for them to polish this game a little more. <laughs> Black and White was your first game? Oh, nice! Yeah. I really enjoyed Black and White, specifically because I had been playing Pokemon all the way up to that point. And the fact that Black and White were like, Actually, no, we're not going to give you any of the old Pokemon until... Oh, I should have caught that, actually. Uh, we're not going to give you any of the old Pokemon until post-game. That was cool to me. 
I was like, heck yeah, man. I don't have to see all the same Pokemon that I've been seeing for four generations now. <laughs> and that was that was part of the reason I like black and white so much. Uh, but also I think they're just like the best of the what I would call the old school Pokemon games, which is basically all the all the stuff before they went 3D, you know. Also, I am going to catch this Arcanine. Wait, why did I try to fake out? That doesn't work. Agreed? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Pokemon as a franchise, like, the quality of the games goes up and up and up until, like, Black and White 2, where it kind of, like, levels off a little bit, and then it goes down with 6th Gen, and then it starts going back up. With 9th Gen, ninth gen finally getting above where 5th Gen was for me, personally. So, that's more or less how I feel about the various Pokemon games, in general. Alright, fake out. Good crit. Yeah, maybe next game they get the FPS right, yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. I don't know, I feel like... I hope, I hope people were vocal enough about, you know, the the very obvious flaws in this game that, you know, the, the Pokemon company and Nintendo and stuff will be like, okay, maybe we'll, let's give the next game, the next, you know, release of a generation a little more time. Because that's, that's really all I think these games needed was a little more time. Maybe you talk to the people that made... Xeno Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, that would that'd be pretty good. Payday. Bap. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. This is fine. Cool. Flame Wheel is a knockout, but that's fine. B -b 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 okay. Next Meowth you are in. Let me throw... It is night out, so I can throw a Dusk Ball at it. What was your first Pokemon game? Pokemon Red. Not Fire Red. Red. <laughs> I started with the first gen. I'm one of them filthy gen oneers. <laughs> no. No, in my mind, a gen oneer is someone who uh, played gen one and then didn't play Pokemon after that. So <laughs> I've been playing the whole time. Who old timer? Yeah, actually, actually an old timer. Gen one. Gen one is fun. Um, I think. Gen 1 is most fun to me when I can embrace the brokenness of it. <laughs> because it's definitely, like, the more you get to know Gen 1, the more you realize, like, oh yeah, this is not... <laughs> Things don't work as intended in this game. <laughs> but when you can exploit that, it makes it pretty fun. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah. Like, I recently... I recently did a run that was just... This was kind of one of the other reasons that I started like Persian. I did a run of Blue, I believe it was? Where basically all I did was over-level a Persian. And I basically used exclusively Persian. And... <laughs> because... In Gen 1... Your crit chance is based on speed, and your crit damage is based on level. So, because Persian is fast and... Oh, hi, Gumi. I need you. Uh, because Persian is fast and learns Slash, you can basically just crit everything and kill it. 
bits, so it's pretty neat. The bugs are amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah, we love we love the bugs in Gen 1. The infinite item glitch with missing no, that's pretty fun. The OP Persian sounds great. Oh yeah. Persian is OP in Gen 1. I also did a run of I can't remember whether it was gold or silver. Uh, where I pretty much exclusively used Radicate, because you can do basically the same thing in that game with Radicate. Which is fun. Uh, I don't think you die if I hate with Payday. Okay, definitely not if you protect, but... Okay, okay. Boop. Okay. Mm, whoops, wrong button. Okie dokie! Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Okay, now... Dusk Ball. Got it, right? I know it healed a little bit. Oh, mother... It's fine! It's fine. I will throw another dusk ball. Doop a doop a doo. Perfect payday damage. Yay! Until it healed. <laughs> but that's fine. We caught it. We're good. Most of Gumi's body is water. Neat. Uh, I feel like that's true for most living things, but you know. Oh wait, I already had Slagu and Gudra? Nice. That makes things easy. Uh, okay, we already have Baskal and... What's that over there? What am I seeing? I guess I could just get it in the water. I have that capability now. Barboach! Oh, I need you. Gumi in the anime? I have not seen. So I didn't really watch any of the anime past... Oh, Diamond and Pearl, I think. Um... Not for any particular reason. It's just I wasn't as interested in it, I guess. Uh, I it it I feel like the show does get kind of samey, um, if you're following it for quite a while. But you should watch X and Y. It's really good. That's what I've heard. Um, I've heard X and Y is good. I've heard Sun and Moon is good. Um, and of course, you have the Sword and Shield anime, which is where Ash finally retires. Wow, crazy. Yeah. Uh, let's take the Super Potion and the Revive. Okay. Um... These mons weren't really what I came over here for, but Horizon, yeah, okay. Hmm, I haven't seen any of Horizon yet either, but it was interesting to me just because it's a new main character. I think that is the one with the new main character, right? It's supposed to be like Ash's daughter or something. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, just having a new main character made it somewhat interesting to me. But, you know. Because I feel like I've had plenty of Ash in my time. And his not-so-amazing strategic decisions. <laughs> Fair, yeah. No, you're not evolving. No, Meowth. It's not allowed. Nope. Alright. Uh, ooh, more items. Full heal. Potion. Uh, and then there was a reward in the decks. Lovely. Okay. 
I've stayed for 10 for about 25 years. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> you say that, but there was a point where he had an 11th birthday. And then he went back to being 10. Because in one of the Pokemon movies, the special before the movie is Ash's his, like one year anniversary with Pikachu. And he got Pikachu the day he turned 10. So it's literally his 11th birthday, and then later they call him 10 again. <laughs> he de-aged at one point. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's crazy, crazy to me that they did that. Ah. Ash wins over aging, yeah. Just doesn't get older, unless he wants to, I guess. I don't know, he's had enough run-ins with legendaries, he probably had some sort of legendary time power rub off on him or something. I mean, between Dialga and Celebi and Arceus. And... <laughs> you had to be hip. There's not a whole lot of other explanations. Also, hello, Floet. Fun Mon. Oh man, I need Flabebe though. Okay. I feel like Flabebe are kind of hard to find, actually. Hmm. Oh, Riolu! I don't think I have you. I do like me a Lucario. Alrighty. Lucario also has a fun typing that is fairly unique. I think, if I'm remembering right, only Cobalion is also steel fighting. And of course Lucario is a very popular mon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh wait, I don't actually have Charcadet? Oh, I should go get one. I know where they spawn, in multiple places. Okay, that's kind of fun. Dragon Tara Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, sure. A Dragon Tara Pikachu. Mm, right, so who's my counter to dragons again? Um, let's see, I don't think I have anyone trained up. Specifically, wait, didn't I have? Was that in Violet? I might be thinking of Violet, where I had a Tinkaton. I think it is. Uh, Mecha Sparks, Robodra. Yeah, and I can just use Sully. Sully will be fine. It's only level three star. I love how in the Dark Ray movie they showed all the legendary Pokemon and sneaked in Lucario midway. <laughs> yeah. Also, um... Just, just Lucario, don't worry. Lucario, I feel like... Uh, Lucario, I feel like, is almost... I've almost been overexposed to, like I definitely have with Charizard. Because Charizard, I think, is like the prime example of a Pokemon that like you like slot in wherever they can in like the games and the movies and the anime. Because why else would Leon have a Charizard in Sword and Shield, right? They tried to make him the next Pikachu, yeah. But like, I feel like Lucario is like the next step down from Charizard. Where it's like, Lucario still appears in a lot of places where it's slightly weird, but it's not as bad as Charizard. <laughs> I mean, heck, every, 
it's been pointed out to me that pretty much every set of the TCG, or not every set, but every generation of the TCG has at least one Charizard set in it. Because <laughs> we always need new Charizard cards. Ah, it's just silly. It's silly. I like Charizard. Don't get me wrong. It's just... You, you can have too much of a good thing. Exactly, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Charizard's cool, but like... Why was he the only one to get two Megas in X and Y? <laughs> well, the only of the Kanto starters, anyway. Mewtwo also got him. Which Mewtwo is also potentially in that category. Actually, I put Lu Mewtwo on probably the same level as Lucario, but Mewtwo is also a legendary, so. Um, let's see, who am I? Who else am I missing from around here? And the Y Mega is a bit weird. Yeah, I mean, I like that it has Drought. That's cool. I I, I like that part of it, but. And the, you know, it's the, the special attacker of the two, which I always, I mean, I always considered Charizard to be more of a special attacker, but. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Drought's a fun ability to play around. Uh, I'm trying to think. You know, I think I already have the special Terra for Sligu that's down there. Uh, pretty sure, actually. So I don't really want to worry about that too much. But I feel like there might be a unique pawn down here other than that. I don't quite recall. Oh, go ahead. I do appreciate that they do let you jump off of cliffs without being on Miraidon or Koridon. But like, they give you a chance to not in case you didn't actually mean to <laughs> run it off the edge. Although I have noticed that most people will be like, They'll see the like, oh, I almost fell animation, and they'll be like, oh, I guess I can't run off cliffs without realizing that you can. That if you just try again, it works. Uh, Scyther, we already have you. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the go up option is good too. Yes, yes, I do like that too. I think they handled falling very well in this game. Uh, look, it's Gumi and Sligu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't think there's anything we're missing around here. Oh, get the Pampy. Already have Flaffy, right? Yeah, already have Flaffy. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just grab these couple items and head back up then. <laughs> yeah, falling off a cliff isn't as big a deal once you get the climb, but uh, that's generally pretty late in the game, so... <laughs> it is nice that they have the... Uh, oh, you fell? Here's an option to go back up. And they make it at least a little hard to fall off cliffs. But not impossible. Very good. Very good, Game Freak. Um, okay, so... Where am I going now? Um, could go check out this grass raid. Oh, Pichu! Actually, I think I need Pichu as well. Uh, oh no, I don't need Pichu. But here's a mass outbreak. 
for funsies. Whee! Get the Psyduck. Nice. Um. Actually, maybe I should grab that Meowth over there. Because that over that Terra Pokemon over there is the Terra Flying Meowth. Uh, also, Grass Terra Komala is pretty good, actually, because it has access to Woodhammer. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get that one. Uh, but yeah, I should probably get that Terra Flying Meowth, because if it's Pickup, then I can just throw it on the team. Happened more than enough times to me? Yeah. Falling off a cliff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Intimidate's good. We love to see it. We love to see it twice, even. Yeah, booster energy. Boom, 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 boom. All right, air slash it. Probably shouldn't take too many. It's only four stars. Ow. Boom, boom, boom. Defense rose, that's fine. Special defense, that's fine. Probably still good. Sucker punch does nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, Terra still has to stop. Uh, what Terra? I don't even know what Terra type it is. I think we're Terra flying, so it would help actually. But mm. uh, but I don't feel like using the time, so I'm just gonna air slash. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't need to Terra here. There we go. Because we're just about done here. Do you play any other games other than Pokemon? Yes, actually. Um, I play a lot of different stuff. Uh, mostly, mostly single player stuff, I would say. But, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of Nintendo games. And I play stuff like... Uh, I think last stream was Baldur's Gate. I play that. Uh, some RPGs in there, some, you know, various different things. Again, mostly single player. Um, platformers, I play a lot of platformers. Um, but yeah. But as far as streams goes, Mondays are always Pokemon Day. So, I always play Pokemon on Mondays. And, you know, I. If there's a game I'm playing off stream, there's a high likelihood it's Pokemon, too. <laughs> Love that. Yeah! I thought it was a pretty fun idea. Because here's the thing like, yes, I play a lot of other games other than Pokemon, but if there's one game series that is definitely my favorite, it is Pokemon. So. <laughs> I. I knew that when I started streaming, like, I'm gonna need at least, like, a day for Pokemon. <laughs> Each week. Uh, hello, Jock. Alright. Alright, this is how you unlock the six and seven star raids. Oh, no. Don't think I have any strong enough Pokemon for those raids yet, but... Ooh, hey, a nugget. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why, does, why is that shining? Is that telling me that there's a shiny Pichu here? Or maybe it's just increased shiny chance? You're not shiny, are you? Uh, no, not shiny. It would have the shiny effect if it was. Uh, 
I think I could be wrong about this, but I believe if it's shiny that your Pokemon won't auto battle it. Hmm. I don't know. But I could just grind Pichu just for the heck of it, you know? Or maybe I'll clear out this batch and see if any of them are shiny. Because here's the thing about shiny Pichu. Uh, it's not that different from regular Pichu. It's really hard to tell the difference in coloration. <laughs> like any of these could be shiny Pichu. And from this distance, I don't think I could tell. Eh. So I think I'll just clear out the ones I have on screen and then maybe go over to that Meowth. Not you, Lechonk. Oh, that's right. I did find a shiny Lechonk in this area, actually. I think it was in this area in this game. So. Yeah. Not shiny. Not shiny. Don't think any of these are shiny. Maybe it's just increased shiny chance. Because they look so similar to normal ones. Yeah. Yeah. Poor shiny Pichu just didn't get a good shiny. Which is funny because, you know, Pikachu's the mascot and all. And the shiny just doesn't look that different. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the, a lot of the older shinies, really, are just look very much are they either look almost exactly the same or they're that weird puke green color <laughs> works on some pokemon but a lot of them not really uh, okay okay you weren't around when i saw the thing shining so i think i think that's maybe just indicating that this outbreak has increased shiny chance which i ain't sticking around for uh this meowth however This Meowth, however, might actually be useful in the future. So I am going to catch it. It's only level 15, which means we will have to train it up quite a bit, but... There's Fake Out. Yeah. It's a fun Terra type for a Meowth. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna catch you in a premiere ball. Hey, great catch. Love to see it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, let's see if this one has pickup. I hope so. Uh, would you like to give me a nickname? Not at this moment. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Yay, it's pickup! Alright, cool. We're adding you to the party. Uh, I don't think it really matters which one we get rid of. They are pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're going in front. You're getting the amulet coin. And I'm putting away all this stuff. I guess it would make sense to have, like, one Meowth that just holds on to the amulet coin the whole time and throws Payday out. Anyway, you have fun. I gotta go sleep now. Long day tomorrow. Hope you get what you're looking for. Thank you, thank you. I was actually about to wrap up, so... <laughs> I am not offended. Um, because, yeah, I... As I mentioned earlier in stream, I have an audition to get to tonight, so... I am actually calling it here. So I don't know if you want to stick around just long enough for the raid, or if you want to go, either's fine, but... I am actually going to call it here. So, let me see if I can't find someone to raid real quick. 
Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Let's go. Same category. VTubers. Stay for the raid. Alrighty. Neat. I appreciate that. Uh, are any other VTubers playing? Scarlet and Violet. Because, you know, I like to support my fellow VTubers. Uh, that is not in English. And that is not Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> so, it would appear not, as far as VTubers go. So we'll just raid someone else who's playing Pokemon. Let's see. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Sure are a lot of people. <laughs> In the Scarlet and Violet category, not playing Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. Uh, let's go. Well, this person is hunting. A sh shiny hunting for a Lolan Raichu, so that's neat. Hope your audition goes well. Thank you. I think I've got a solid chance, so. Let's see. Ah. Oh, looks like they're playing with friends too, which is neat. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and raid Maple. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Maple Mapatch? Mapachi? Not sure. Anyway, we're writing them. They seem neat. So, raid is set to go. Uh, if So, I have to say, if you are watching, thank you for watching, and... As for this stream, that's a wrap. Mm -hmm.